Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can make your life easier when using the bevel tool on an object that's being created by a ball tool. So it's going to be more of a, a quick tip uh, video rather than a full tutorial. So to explain my scene a little bit, um, I've modelled myself an Allen key bolt. Um, I've modelled the head using two cylinders in a ball tool. So this editable cylinder is the main bolt head and uh, this primitive cylinder underneath is uh, this hexagonal shape that's being cut out. So in the ball attributes manager, I want to show you a couple of checkboxes. Uh, the first one is create single object. Now this is important because when we come to make our ball editable, um, it's going to give us one single object rather than two editable objects, these two cylinders here. So I'm going to make sure that that's checked. And then underneath that you've got hide new edges as well. So this is more cosmetic than anything else really. If I tick that you'll see that it, it removes these edges um, that have been created by the ball. So I'm just going to make sure that that one's checked as well. So now when I make my ball editable by hitting C on the keyboard and open up the hierarchy you'll see that I've just got one mesh that I can work on which is which is a lot better so I'm just going to pull that out of the hierarchy and I can just delete that null ball there okay so now to bevel it um, what I need to do is grab a loop selection tool from the select menu just hover over where I want to select and then left click to select it to get the bevel tool I'm just going to right click anywhere in the viewport to get the context menu and then down to bevel. Now I've got the subdivision set here to 4 which is which is pretty much fine for what I want so anywhere in the free space I'm just going to click and drag and that's going to bevel it nicely for me. Lovely. So let's do the same on the inside edge. So again I'm just going to go to my previously used uh, tools menu and grab loop selection just select the inside and then bevel exactly the same as we did before so just having those two tick box uh, tick boxes ticked it, it makes makes your life a lot easier when you're coming to bevel it um, so let's give it a quick render see how it looks okay it's not looking too bad one thing that is missing is the definition between the edges on the inside here. This is down to the fong angle. Um, the fong angle, you have an upper limit here which is 80 degrees. This means that the fong is going to shade anything below 80 degrees to make it appear more rounded and make it look nicer. What we want it to do is actually straighten out these edges here. So I'm just going to lower the fong angle to something around 50 degrees and you can see that it's actually straightened out these lines. If I render again you see it's a lot more defined which is exactly what I want. Okay that's it from me for today. Um, I hope this has helped and I'll speak to you soon.